This coverage of the 2018 SHOT Show is brought to you by Magneto Speed's newest product, the M-Series Grip System. This high-tech AR-style grip has interchangeable modules for every situation from monopods to flashlights. Check out their website or follow them on Facebook for more information. This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here in the Maxpedition booth with Tim, and Tim's going to talk to us a little bit about the new Entity line of packs uh, that they are coming out with this year. Great. Tim? So, uh, Maxpedition is celebrating its 15th uh, anniversary this year, uh, and uh, with that we're introducing a new product line called Entity. So basically the Entity series is our line of covert concealed carry products. You'll see here there are four uh, large packs. This is the Entity 16, it's a sling pack, a single shoulder strap, ambidextrous. These three are double shoulder backpacks. This is the Entity 21 EDC backpack. And this is the Entity 23 laptop backpack, fits a 15 inch laptop. And this is the Entity 27 uh, laptop backpack, if it's a 17 inch laptop, and you'll see on top, there's a dedicated laptop compartment. So basically with this covert line, uh, we are using a 500 denier exterior fabric. Uh, it's polyurethane coated for water resistance. And basically it has this sort of a denim texture to it. Um, it looks probably looks gray in front of the camera, but it's actually a mixture of white and black. Um, sort of a, a smooth, uh, smooth blend. And the idea is to create a pack. It doesn't have, it's not covered with molly and uh, it looks uh, completely covert and it doesn't draw attention to you, allowing you to blend in. There's nothing to call out the fact that you might have a CCW weapon or you might be in a state of preparedness. Okay, so th this is Entity 27. Uh, some of the important features is we have a magnetic closure. You'll see that it's self-closing. So when you unzip it, it will actually close itself. When you open it, to prevent the full clamshell front from completely flopping over, we have two drawbridge straps. These drawbridge straps are both removable. When they're removed, it allows the pack to completely clamshell open. And the drawbridge straps are concealable, so you can actually tuck them in and they're completely out of the way. As you can see from this pack, our grayscale interior from the AGR uh, series has uh, carried over, including our gossamer mesh, which is a very high quality uh, high strength mesh. Most important part about the, the pack is the CCW compartment, which is here. It's lined on both sides with loop material, so you can take your concealed carry firearm in our universal pistol wrap and actually place it in. Very safe. Zip it closed. The opposite side, there's also the same zipper, but you'll see that it has a uh, a hook um, security strip here to prevent it from opening. So you can take that strip and switch it to the opposite side, depending on which side you're drawing from. On the interior, it's, it's definitely very uh, reminiscent of a uh, Maxpedition product uh, with the organization and the CCW capability. Well, overall, it looks like you guys have done a really good job of removing that tactical look, but still retaining the tactical features. I'm, I'm kind of happy to see that it appears that gone are the days where we cover the outside of every bag with that molly webbing and, and now we have something that's a little bit more uh, streamlined, a little bit more uh, at home in the urban environment, right. but you still have uh, full functional ability to, to carry weapons and equipment. Right, that's correct. That's, that, that's uh, our, our approach to it. That's correct that there's no molly webbing on the, on the, on the pack. Our, our approach to it was not taking an existing pack and simply removing the molly. We actually um, designed all these from, from ground up uh, to look, look uh, this is probably the most aerodynamic line of all three lines. You seem to have gone through a whole lot of trouble to make sure that the gear works, maybe not necessarily the way you think it should, but the way the end user may need his gear to work. Well, that's exactly right. We, uh, all of our um, packs are lab tested and field tested, and uh, it took about a year to develop this line. So of the 10 to 12 rounds of revisions and sampling that we did um, in between every uh, round, we would lab test it and field test it to make sure that it really met the Maxpedition standards for, um, for quality, for strength, and for, for 
you know, function. Well, you guys have done an awesome job. It really is an attractive looking pack. Uh, it really looks streamlined. It doesn't look bulky or, or out of place. So uh, I think it's uh, definitely a, a good thing to consider for somebody that wants to still be able to carry a firearm in their daily life, but wants a bag that doesn't scream, hey, I've got a gun. Right, that's, right, that's, that's correct. And then we have, besides the four large packs, we have small accessories. So we have four, four different size pouches that will attach to the shoulder strap. And we have uh, two hook and loop accessories that will uh, modular attach to the, the interior panels. And all four accessories are compatible with all four packs. All right. Well, Tim, I appreciate you taking us through the new packs. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to taking a little bit of closer look at them later. Thank you very much.